Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, I'm gonna show you just how quickly and easily you can make one of my favorite sauces, hollandaise. I love hollandaise sauce so much that every time we have Eggs Benedict, you can count on me saying, I could eat this stuff like soup. And historically, what we've used for hollandaise is just one of these packets. This is the Knorr brand. But let's take a look at the ingredients and the macronutrients on this. First off, looking at the nutritional facts, two grams of total carbohydrates per serving, which they say is two tablespoons prepared. In my opinion, that's awfully light for hollandaise sauce. I get more up into that quarter cup, maybe even a half cup range when I'm coating my food. But now let's take a look at the ingredients. Ingredient number one, maltodextrin, followed by cornstarch, whey protein concentrate, milk, enriched wheat flour, salt, sugar, citric acid, yeast extract, hyaluronic sunflower oil, guar gum, turmeric, spice, paprika, lemon juice solids, and natural flavor. So if you're concerned about eating clean, this is not that. The great thing is though, I'm gonna show you a way to make your own hollandaise sauce with only, I think, four ingredients, and you'll be able to make it in probably less time than it takes to make this. Ingredient number one is two large eggs from which we will separate the yolks from the white. If the yolks are a decent size, you can get by with two of them. If they're a little bit on the smaller side, you may need to use three but both these are big enough, so we'll be good with two. As for the egg whites, I'll save those probably to make a chaffle as my low-carb English muffin substitute. Next, we have one tablespoon or 15 ml of lemon juice. Fresh is preferable, although bottled will do fine in a bind. Then a little sprinkle of cayenne, and I got a little bit aggressive there. Finally, we have butter, one half cup or one stick or 120 ml. We want to put all of this into a container that's just slightly wider than the head of our immersion blender. And we'll get the immersion blender going, ramped up the speed, and then slowly add our butter in a nice, steady stream. You may find that you need to start to either tilt or lift the head of the blender to suck all that butter down into the emulsion. but this is looking pretty good. In terms of thickness, you want it thick enough to coat a spoon and leave a trail when you draw your finger across it. Which this does. For comparison's sake, we'll make this now with ghee or clarified butter. All the ingredients are the same with the exception of the ghee, the process is the same. Again, we ramp up the speed on the immersion blender and start to add our ghee. Now the ghee version is getting a lot thicker than the butter version, which is requiring me to do a little more in the way of gyrations with my immersion blender to get all of that ghee down into the emulsion. And it is thick, very thick. So now we're gonna do a taste comparison between the two. On the right, I have the butter hollandaise. On the left, the ghee hollandaise, which almost looks like mayonnaise. That's tasty. I think I probably put a smidge too much cayenne in it, but good. Next we have the ghee hollandaise. That does actually taste a lot more like mayonnaise. I, I actually prefer the butter one. This is almost a little too rich with that ghee flavor, but let's see what my wife thinks. <clears throat> okay, the butter one first. lemon flavor. Mm. 
I actually like this one better. <laughs> you like the ghee one yeah. better? I almost feel like the ghee would go better on seafood, that version. Oh yeah, like lobster. Yeah, or yeah, you know, like salmon or something like yeah. that. Yeah. But I think it might Sometimes. overpower Eggs Benedict, oh. which is what I'm gonna make yeah. now. Okay. As a base, I tried to emulate the flavor and texture of an English muffin by creating some low-carb chaffles. On top of that, I've got some homemade Canadian bacon, which I'll include a link for, and my two poached eggs. I'm using the butter hollandaise just because I know that it's going to pour a lot better. And it's also the version that I preferred the flavor of. Then I'll sprinkle on a little bit of paprika just to give it some curb appeal. And now let's see how well I poach these eggs. I'm going to say that looks pretty much perfect right there. Good stuff. Not quite there yet on my English muffin texture, but otherwise, this is great. Now to answer a few of your questions that I anticipate. One, do you need to use an immersion blender? Could you just use a normal blender? And could you also then do a larger batch? Absolutely, it's the same system. I just choose to use the immersion blender method because I feel it's a little bit less in the way of cleanup, and it's just my wife and me, so it's sort of the right size in terms of servings. The yield on this is probably in the area of four normal people servings or two Steve size servings. In terms of ghee versus butter, I think that's really kind of a matter of personal preference. The reason I think the ghee got thicker was because I was able to heat it to a higher temperature. With butter, you gotta kinda be careful, especially in the microwave, because those milk solids can cause explosions. So if you do decide to melt your butter in the microwave, keep an eye on it. Finally, this is probably the simplest recipe for hollandaise. You can doctor this up however you want. If you want more citrus, I don't know that you'd necessarily want more citrus. I like it a little bit tangy. But if you want less citrus, you just split that tablespoon between water and lemon juice. Additionally, I've seen people add other ingredients to hollandaise. Like I said, this is the base version. You can play with it as much as you want, and I encourage you to do so. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. And if you really like this video, click that thanks button. Buy me some more butter. And finally, if you're in a binge watching mood, I'll throw a couple other videos up here for you. Thanks for watching.